Let's have a session on CAD and CAM. CAD is computer-aided design and CAM is computer-aided manufacturing. Now starting with CAD. CAD is essentially a computer program that allows you to either design new products or alter existing products. It's sometimes referred to as industrial art because it's art used for industry. Examples of where CAD is used, it could be automotive, so it could be building cars, shipbuildings or kitchen designs. But frankly, CAD is used in almost all product design industries. Now, when you do the program that is CAD, you get an output, and that output is a computer file. That computer file, well, you could print it out, which is 2D, and you could show it to clients, or you could show it to people within your team to check if you're happy with it, or you could send this computer file to CAM. And CAM is computer-aided manufacturing, which is essentially that it is you have computers that control robots, like a robot arm, and that's effectively referred to as automation to manufacture the final product or component using some form of code. So you will have computers controlling a robot arm and what their job is, is whatever the code has told them to do. And this code is a pre-built instruction. Now usually the code that is controlling the computers to tell the robots what to do is in fact that CAD file. So the CAD file is usually what's generating what the CAM makes. And the CAM Output, so what the output is of computer-aided manufacturing is either the end product or it could be um, a component to get to the end product because it might be needed to do several CAM processes to get the final product. Sometimes this is referred to as CAD-CAM when you use both CAD and CAM. Um, the advantages of using CAD firstly, well firstly it increases the speed of the design process because if you didn't use CAD, then you'd be using pen and paper and that would clearly take longer, especially when you're altering existing products. Therefore, it's more efficient. It increases efficiency because it's easy to change those designs. Additionally, you could use it as a marketing tool. So in the case of uh, kitchen designs, it might be that you're with a client and you can quickly knock up a design of their kitchen and show them how it might look and that acts as a marketing tool. So CAD also has knock-on effects into other departments. And finally, well, when we're comparing the cost of CAD to the cost of CAM, CAD is very cheap, CAM is very expensive. In fact, it could be that CAM is as much as 100 or even 200 times more than the cost of buying a programme to do CAD. So it's relatively cheap. But there's disadvantages to CAD. Well, the first one is that you need to have the skills to use CAD. Looking now at the advantages of CAM. So CAM, well, the main advantage of using CAM is that, look, you're getting a machine to do what would be otherwise done by workers. And the machine can work 24 seven. And also it's quicker. So it's gonna be a faster production process versus a human. You're going to therefore get higher productivity. Also, the computer just follows the code. So it's going to be more precise, more accurate, and also more consistent. And therefore that could lead to a more consistent form of quality and it could lead to higher reputation. And also you're likely to get less mistakes. Less mistakes, therefore you're going to minimize waste. And minimizing waste will mean that you've saved on your costs. Now there's disadvantages of course to using CAM. The first one is it's so expensive to buy a CAM um, machine. So the initial costs might be enormously high, tremendously high, if you're going to buy one of these CAM um, machines. And also you're going to need space to put the machine in. The machine will likely be very large, so you need a wide, wide manufacturing or warehouse space to order for you to put this machine in. And that's clearly gonna have knock-on effects onto your overheads and your rental costs. And secondly, another disadvantage of using CAM, or a limitation as it were, is that yes, you can use less workers because you're automating, but you're still going to have to have some workers, and those workers will have to be specialist workers, usually CNC engineers that can use this machine. They know what to do when the machine's put in front of them. So therefore, um, you're likely to have to pay high wages for this CNC engineer, but really if you offset it against the total savings you've made from workers, because you don't need to have the workers because you now have the machine to replace them, it's probably a good thing. The last thing to think about is that it, because of the cost of CAD being relatively cheap and the cost of CAM being relatively expensive, it's very normal for businesses to have CAD in-house, but they might outsource the CAM to another business to produce it for them because that means that in the short term they don't need to pay for that machine, they outsource it, get someone else to do it for them. So if we're thinking about the short term and long term, or well in the short term, um, it might mean that the business is able to meet their break even point faster if they have used only CAD and outsourced to CAM because um, 
they've got less initial costs. But in the long term, clearly it will be cheaper and more cost effective if you introduce CAD CAM together. So I hope that helps with CAD CAM and I'll see you at the next sesh.